Alright, what's going on good people? This your boy, your guy, King Fitch. I've been feeling uh, very uplifted, very motivated today, you know. You should always feel that way as far as things go in the world. You know, we must be not of the world, but in it, as my dad constantly tells me because when you look at the way the world is there's always going to be famine there's always going to be uh death there's always going to be a lot of different things going on you have to be able to differentiate what's good and what's bad in your life in order to find that sense of peace for me i can go on about my own life and how far i've come from my birth in 1990, almost 30 years ago, to this point, in a little under, a little over a month, I turned 30 years old, and I'm going to still take things day by day, I'm not going to say, oh, I'm going to celebrate on my birthday, because you have to look at the world around you, and not every day is guaranteed, I felt like I wanted, you know, I'm going to continue to post content, right, as far as YouTube goes, but I love to actually sit down whether it's outside at the park whatever my plans are to make these specific videos to talk to you whoever the viewers are watching these videos on my channel and much respect to you for watching my videos i have thousands of them but the whole point is you know well i have hundreds close to a couple thousand but my whole point is Life is not guaranteed every single day, every single week, every single month, every single year, every single second, every single minute. You have to really lock in mentally, spiritually, physically, different ways to focus on the things that are important in your life in order to live a successful life while you have your life. For me, I want to talk about love. I want to talk about, you know, why life is so important. You have people that are at a point where they feel like they don't want to be here anymore. And it's it's heartbreaking stuff. It really is. So for me, I just want to tell you never to give up. You know, like John Cena says, never give up and all that stuff. But, you know, he really, to be one of my favorite, easily top three, top five favorite ra uh, wrestlers of all time, he really lives by that. The hundreds of make-a-wishes that he's done in his span, his 16-plus year career with the WWE. He's a future Hall of Famer. You know, I can go on and on about him. He's one of my favorite athletes growing up with the whole rap gimmick and stuff. That was pretty cool. But as I got older, I'm like, wow, this dude's a genuinely good human being as well. It's pretty, pretty awesome to be a fan of him. You know, we follow each other on Twitter. That's an honor in itself because celebrities are really funny about who they follow, who they choose to follow back. It's the influence. It's just the way of the world. You know, you have your higher ups who look at themselves at a higher tier than everybody else. And I don't want to become that way. You know, I do follow who I like, but at least I follow people that I know. Whether you have five followers or whatever. This social media stuff, even though I have big numbers in different platforms, this ain't what I, you know, this isn't everything to your life. You know, it's just something that kind of helps you get by when you feel bored. But when in the world we live in, it's impossible to actually get bored. I know we throw out, we throw the term bored so much like, you know, we play video games, you can read books, you can travel, you can see the world for what it is very dangerous at times but you have to actually take that leap of faith believe in god believe in whatever you believe i can't force my beliefs on god onto somebody who is atheist you get what i'm saying so it's a matter of what they believe or choose not to believe that's their choice i just wish them and every single person a happy and healthy life not to say that they would wish me the same back but hey that's just the way the world turns that's the way everything moves you have people that are going to be there for you and people that aren't. You can't hold it against them, even though we do. It, it hurts. My whole facts, my whole uh, points is that we have to be of love 
in order to help the world move in a positive direction. Because with all this death and violence and everything going on in the world right now, we're just going to constantly keep revolving backwards instead of going forward as a human race, not just a race of a certain uh, nationality, heritage, uh, whatever, but actually as a human race of people where we can finally say, okay, we're actually progressing into the future. And that's where the kids come in. The kids are our future. You have a lot of creeps, a lot of weird people in the world. You have to protect the babies, protect the toddlers, protect the teenagers, protect the preteens, protect the kids, protect the adults. If you're an older adult, guide them. That's why the teenagers that I play ball with, you know, I try to like talk to them and stuff like that. And when they get older, they'll hopefully learn and understand like, wow, they call me New York because of where I'm from. And, you know, they're like, wow, he really did mean well for us. Stay. I always tell them, stay in school. If you do choose the basketball, the sports route, the AAU, whatever is out there for you, just do it within the means of what your parents tell you, you know, because parents aren't always right, but at least you guys have your parents to at least keep you on track until you're old enough to take care of yourself. My friends are around the ages of 14, 15, 16, 17, and it just goes up and somewhat down at times. There's young kids who know who I am. You know, I'm like one of the few black people in all of Modesto, keeping it a buck with you, <laughs> being real, real talk. You know, but I've made a name for myself as far as this whole basketball stuff goes because I'm a very skilled basketball player. You know, even though I have my moments where I struggle, I played basketball for over 25 years. I take pride in the game. I'll tear you apart, you know, strategically, not only defensively, offensively. Sure, that's been my game, but I've learned to adapt. I've learned to adjust the way I've played in the last 10 plus years, 11 years with this whole D Fitch ball record thing that I started back in 2012. But I was actually keeping track in 2009 when I still lived in New York. My whole point is, you know, life is just so mysterious when it comes to sports, when it comes to life, when it comes to people, when it comes to the relationships you have with others. You have to really understand that life is too short to be upset about the things going on in the world. Because the media and different outlets will use these negative storylines to make you more depressed, make you more sad, make you more fearful of everything. You have to be able to unleash that Mamba mentality that Kobe so desperately tried to teach millions of people when it came to not just basketball, but the way that you moved in your own life and how to succeed in a world that doesn't always want you to succeed. So that's super important as far as that goes, you know, and having love excuse me lips dry having love is so important because if you're someone filled with hate it just comes down to really you know how you can alter your ego alter your personality to be filled with love to eliminate that hate that is in your heart because when it comes to someone that has love they don't worry about the bad things that's going on the peace that fills their heart is what counters those negative thoughts. And the love that they are able to give to others is what helps them live a happy and healthy life. It could be you, it could be your family, it could be somebody you don't even know. Love is what bridges the gap between the evils that are in our world. And it's just that simple. I cannot stress this enough. As someone who's been through all types of situations... I'm almost three decades in. I've seen things I didn't want to see. I've done things I wish I didn't do that could have probably altered my direction now. But hey, that's just the way life is. Only the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and our Father up high can really truly know what's going to happen before it actually does years down the line. It's that simple. But my whole thing is continue to have love and peace in your heart. Have a blessed day.